well, don't you care about that? Da, 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 da? I said, yeah, I do care, but I'm surrendered to right now. Right now is the only reality I have. It's this moment. I can't go anywhere else. Sometimes I try to go a month ahead of me to see what are we going to do or as far as the direction of of my mission but that's as far as I can go I get a headache if I try to go a little bit further I get a major headache it's like I can't go anywhere I am here it doesn't mean I'm stupid and I don't think about things and I just have to wait here till I have to stay in Titanic till it starts really diving under the ocean before I do something about it. But I can't go anywhere in my mind. I can't go in the future. I can't go to the past. Here is the only reality I have and here is perfect. Whether it goes in my way or it doesn't go in my way it doesn't matter here is perfect there's nothing wrong with here and this is the only reality I have here is perfect the rest is the projection of the mind based on our conditioning of how life should be how spirituality should be how things should be. That's conditioning. Or human preferences. Yes, I prefer warm weather over cold weather. That's my preference. That's my DNA genetic makeup. I like warm weather, warm climates. I like colors. I like fashion. I like decorating, I like pristine places, certain kind of food, certain kind of style. Those are preferences of the body-mind mechanism. These are your DNA genetic makeup of what you like and what you don't like. But I don't have an idea about how life should be. Life is fine the way it is. I leave that to the creator of the creation. That's none of my business. I'm just passing through this dimension. I'm here for a few days and then I'm gone. It's none of my business. This administration of the world is someone else's business. Thank God it's not my business. I'm just passing through it. This movie of life, this drama of life, I'm simply watching it. I'm a spectator. That's all I am. I'm watching the movie of life and there's a character in this movie of life called Zarathustra and he's doing his thing. Seven, other, seven billion people are doing their thing and this guy is doing its thing. It's a movie I'm watching. The movie's already made. And it's being projected on the screen. I have nothing to say in this movie. Somebody else wrote the screen. Somebody else directed it. Produced it. And then they're broadcasting it. I'm simply watching a movie. And if you want to be free, you have to remember where you're at. You have to come back to your seat. Otherwise, you will suffer. As simple as that. Because you get identified with the movie, with the Maya, and you think it's real, and it's unfair, and there's a lot of things screwed up in it, and it will 
result in your suffering. You're the only one who's going to suffer. Nobody else cares. Anyone who doesn't suffer is not involved in it. And those who suffer, they suffer. It's, it's your journey. If you don't want to suffer, then, and you come to me and you ask me, Zarathustra, what can I do not to suffer? Then I'm pointing out to you what to do. But I don't have an agenda to come and really shake you or, or force you or try to sell my idea of the way I live or what I think to you. Really convince you or convert you that you have to be this way. I'm sharing with you how I came to this and how I live my life and I, how it happened that I don't suffer anymore. There are other people who have come to this place too and they can share with you their methods of what they did. It's out there. You just go the direction that feels good for you but if you're suffering then you're very involved in the story called the world. And if you come to me, I share with you how I freed myself. It's your choice whether you want to do it or not because you're the one who's suffering. It's very simple. Don't make it complicated. Anything else? Anyone else? You want to share the last thought before we come to the end of our academy? I wanted to ask you, what do you think if we increase the academy to two hours? It's one, one hour, 45 minutes. And uh, whether we should bump it to two hours or keep it at 145. Two hours? Yeah, okay. Well, if you want to write to me later. And, because my concern is for those who are in Europe. Because we, we start... Uh, when is your time changing, by the way? Because pretty soon... Um, we are changing uh, this weekend, actually. The coming weekend. Okay, so very soon, our 10 o'clock is going to be your 6 o'clock. Right? Our 10 is going to be your 18. And that's going to be even better for you. Because it won't be so late. 